landing, Bob. Yeah, well. I said neat landing. Well, Holmes, I hear you had a heavy fog on the line. Had a bit of trouble, but uh, we pulled through all right. Good man. Feel, dear, but you'll get used to it in time. And you've earned a rest if ever a man has, and this is your home. Oh, I reckon my home's been the footplate of the engine. Yes, I haven't seen much of you these past years, Bob. I was hoping that now, well, perhaps we might see a little more of each other, eh? Yes, I suppose it has been lonely for you sometimes. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Don't take any notice of me. I'm not myself. I don't know what it is, but my head seems to have been playing tricks with me lately. You're tired and hungry. Sit down and have your food. I don't want anything. I'll just turn in. Take her away from me, eh? Come on and rest a bit. Don't shut it. That noise never bothers me. Oh, don't be silly, dear. You must get some sleep. Leave it open, dear. I don't want to be shut in. I know what's good for me. Sorry, old girl. Man, you wake me at 2.30 sharp. Bob, I wish you wouldn't make this trip. Charlie said on your last journey... When did you see Charlie? Why, Friday, dear, you brought him back for tea. Oh. Well, why don't you tell them you're not well? Ask them to put on a relief. So? You're like the others. 
Trying to make me think I'm finished, eh? Bob. There's nothing wrong with me, dear, nothing. What's not, dear? Mind you wake me in time. All right, dear. We can't. We've only just got time to catch our train to the continent. Ah, in that case, the certificate. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You all right, darling? Oh, Mary. Mary, will you be a pal and take it up to Miss Diana for me? Oh, Mr. Tom. Oh, I know, but... Well, just say I'm sorry and... Yes, but Miss Diana's gone. She asked me to give you this note. You know. All right, Mary. That's right. Watch the light. The light. When you awake, you'll do as I've said. You will follow your suppressed desire. You understand? Yes. Darling. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I must have thought you were... <laughs> schoolboyish, I'm afraid, but really the experiment has serious significance. In your future medical careers, you'll come across cases where there is nothing pathologically wrong, no brain disease, but where the patient is suffering from an imaginary complaint which can best be treated by mental suggestion. With the advance of anaesthetics, experiment in hypnotism has declined, but it is a fact that in the last century, major operations and amputations were successfully performed while the patient was in the hypnotic state. I have always hoped for the time and the opportunity to carry on the experiments where Esdale of Calcutta and others left off. Oh, thank you. That's all. I'm sorry to have inflicted that on you, Manners. Not at all. A very interesting experiment. Pity, as you say, that you can't go on with it. Someday, perhaps. 
But certainly not today. An operation? No, that's just the point. No operation. You got those tickets, nurse? Yes, I will, sir. You know, I've been trying for 15 years to see the derby, and at last I'm going to manage it. At least I think I am. Hello. It's Sir Wilfred Rhodes there, please. There's a trunk call for him. Dr. Hawkins of Malchester. Oh. All right, I'll take it. Hello? Yes, speaking. It's a compound fracture of the skull. Only an immediate operation can save her. Can't you possibly get someone local? I'm badly in need of a day's uh, rest and honor. Believe me, Sir Wilfred, there's absolutely no one up here who can take it. It's either you or... When's the next train? There's a train to Manchester at 3.7. If you could catch that, I'll have a car waiting at the station for you. All right, I'll catch the 3.7. Let me get my things ready, nurse. Manners, I wonder if you'd care to use one of these tickets. Well, I... Nurse Johnson is using the other. Rather. Why? Why? I'm just as good as ever I was. Aren't I? Aren't I? Feeling all right, yes. Of course I'm all right. Charlie's a fool. Darling, May and December, you know. No, no, it isn't that he's old, but he's... Old enough to be getting crotchety, don't I know? It hasn't been easy. Especially lately. Oh. Emily! Anybody been here? No. Mm. Oh, I, I thought I'd have mine first. Didn't know you took sugar. Well, I, I really poured it out for you and then drank it myself. I see. Instead of coming and waking me. Suppose I've been late and spoiled my record on the last lap. I'm sorry, Bob. Well, Emily. Yes, to the last journey. Of a long and honorable career. That's right, honorable. You and me, Emily. We've always lived honorable, and we'll die honorable. Spend the family fortune. Oh. Like this. So listen, what's the idea? I don't want to spend the rest of my life on a platform, you know. Do your stuff and we'll be leaving England first class. Thank you. That's easy, lovey. You keep 
for poor lonely little fella company till his train leaves. <laughs> well, uh, if you're sure you won't misunderstand. Me, hey, that's all right, lovey. I understand everything. Oh. <laughs> Let me help you. <laughs> You know, I'm sure I've met you before somewhere. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> See you now. Thank you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I suppose it was somebody like me. I must have a double. <laughs> Just one double, sir? Uh, what? Sorry, Governor. Oh, they're all here. Thank you very much. Have a drink on it. No, thanks. <laughs> nice, polite young fella. <laughs> yes, wasn't he? Well, down the hatch. Two to Philby, one first, one third. Two first, home church and Dino, please. Darling, we've got time to send a telegram. Give me your heavy load for your last pull, Bob. I look very cheery. What's wrong? I don't know what to say. Oh, sorry. I can't say dear mother and father. Just now, Nan and I met in a nightclub three weeks ago. Whom oh, I love, Diana. Oh, come on, it's easy. Just married. Charming man. Divinely happy. Writing, love, Diana. Hotel Splendid, Dina, France. Please reserve double room tonight. Winter. One, two, three, four. What are you going to do when you retire, Bob? Call us word, Paddle. Do your job. We'll talk later. Okay. Turn me in confidence, officer. Is this a dining saloon on the train? Yes, sir. Fully licensed. Thank him for that. Did you get the wallet? We will now. Where's he going to? Right through to Malchester. Well, couldn't be better. We get our first stop, don't we? Only three stops, Philby, Home Church, Malchester. I'm going to get in here. Okay. Here you are. Knocking on the line. Weather clearing. Does that mean a fast trip? It'll be a record run. 